Hi everyone, it's Gigabeef here, and today we're going to look at a few tips and tricks that I wish I'd known as a new player getting started on customs. Given that most of the beginner quests are on customs, it's very useful to get to know some of the nuances early on before having to find them out the hard way. So stick around, and let's get going. Now I don't know about you, but I found customs to be a very interesting map as the starter map. It feels very hemmed in versus other FPS games when you're first getting going due to the map design. We have large walls running through a lot of the map, especially on the east side, and whole areas that feel completely segmented off. Today most of the tips that we're going to go through are related to movement and sight lines, as these are some of the most important elements to actually negotiate around the map and around these obstacles that have been put in by the game designers. Alright, so let's start with an easy one, let's just talk about navigating around the map. So there's actually a lot of holes through a lot of the walls, which is one of the issues that I had when I first started playing customs right at the beginning, is that the map feels kind of impenetrable and there's stuff everywhere and you have to go through these certain set choke points. And this used to be worse, to be fair, in the past before the, uh, the expansion came out. And it's a little bit better now, but there's still a lot of ways that you can navigate around. So the first one I want to show you is in big red. This is going to be uh, pretty obvious for some of the guys who are more intermediate, so we'll get onto some of the other intermediate tips later, but for those who are really just starting, if you've got Big Red over here and you've got the couple of really obvious entrances, you've got the main entrance over on this side and you've got the small hole in the wall over on that side. If you come through this section here, this took me probably an embarrassing amount of time before I knew that this existed. There's a small cutway through here so you can just get past the train. And this is super easy, this is a nice little exit to get out through the back if you need to. So next one, alright, we've got three entrances to construction over on this side. This one here in the corner, which is the one that most people use, it's quite obvious. But if you carry on running up here, there's actually two more that may not be immediately obvious. There's one there, which is kind of hidden in the bushes here. And if you carry on down a little bit further, there's yet another entrance, which is really obvious from this side. But from the other side, when you're first starting to play, it's very difficult to spot and you don't even know it's there. There's a one-way route through here, so if you're inside the compound, you can jump up on this and you can see people on the other side or jump over. This is only one way, so if you're on the other side, you can't get back across, so just beware, you can be shot at from this point. Right up a gas station here, there's a way that you can actually get across here. So if you jump over here, jump up onto this, you can leg it just about over the top of here. And you can get onto the other side. If you're on this side, you can just use this dumpster to get back across, super easy. You don't even need to uh, do anything special, just jump across. You'll take a little bit of damage, but sometimes it's worth it. Sticking on the same side, there's one spot a little further back that I nearly forgot to mention, which is up onto this car here, and up onto the corner of that to there. So you have to take quite a, a tight angle over there, but that allows you to jump straight across the wall. Then in the main road area, we've got a couple that are really obvious. This one here, which people tend to use, and the one down here in the corner. Now, there's one little spot that I didn't realise for a while as well, which is quite useful, and that's if you want to skirt around this compound checkpoint area. Now, if you crouch here and move through, you can just get past this barbed wire, which is quite cool. And then the final one that everyone uses to go to extract. Now, let's take a look at a couple of extra places around the gas station itself. So here on this side, you can get two ways through this. If you go around this corner, past the street you can just hop straight through here this is basically the same as going over the rocks but the advantage of this is that you don't need to do this on the way back so you can just hop yourself in skip yourself through and out the other side as we continue along that wall edge there's another piece here so there's this chain link fence that you can't get through for most of it and there's the little cache right next to it if you want to get through you can just basically take a little run up at this wall and jump yourself through and there you go so on the other side now in gas station so this is quite handy because it, otherwise you can't get through this piece here now down at the end you have this little entrance which a lot of people use and then over on this side you have this small little cut through that if you crouch it can be quite difficult to actually get through. So you can get through it from that angle but getting through from this side often cause yourself some little problems. Now the little trick to make this better is you can duck your head and it shortens your character model and allows you to get through without lying down. Alright and last but not least let's talk about the factory exit. So everybody who's played the game for a little bit knows about this but for those who are just starting this door here is opened by the factory exit key. So we go and have a look we've got this one here so it sounds like it's just for factory. The factory exit key opens two doors in factory and it also opens this door here in customs and allows you to cut through the wall and it's really the first one that people think about before they know about some of the jumping and other bits and pieces that you need to do to get across the wall. Um, this key you can find in the pockets of scavs, you can find it in coats, or you can just go and buy it on the flea, which is normally what I end up doing because I don't really like looting jackets. Alright, switching down to the next area, this is down at Old Gas Station, and you can see that you have the Rishala building here, and this is the new area of customs. Now this wall here is traversable, a lot of people have figured this out already, it's very straightforward to just jump over this wall here. Now, what a lot of people don't realise is, me included at the time, is that this wall is also traversable. So if you have a high enough strength level, and by the way, this is another tip, using a strafe jump is actually higher than doing a forward jump. So you can strafe jump over this wall. Now, my strength is not high enough, so we have to use a different trick. We have to pop into this tree here and then across over onto the wall and this is how we now get back across 
without having to go all the way around through gas. Now if we spawn up by old gas station down here somewhere in the compound, it can be very easy to think that the very separate sections of the map, you've got this whole sort of factory area of customs, and then you've got the other section over the wall over by gas station. Now the one thing that you really shouldn't forget is that you can actually see the rocks above gas station from here, and this works both ways, so people could see you and you can see them, so just remember that. This is quite good, or can be quite good anyway, for shooter born in heaven, kind of depending on, on your luck and seeing if people come down. All right, next one, the dorms escape route. So on three-story dorms, right at the top level, you have our marked room over here. Everyone's pride and joy. And then out onto the roof, the way that you can actually get down from here without having to go through the rest of the dorms is go to the edge here. And there's a fence there. So drop down onto this. Wait until you take damage. I took damage there straight away, but if you don't, then make sure that you do, because otherwise you'll break your legs. And fall off here, and then you can run over to the car extract. So one tip that I nearly forgot to mention is around the car extract. Now this is the one that's just north of dorms, it isn't always there, but when you go to get to this extract out, you can see up here at the top, this is the dorms VX extract. When you go to it, you actually have to give them some rubles. Now when you transfer the rubles to them, you can see that the extraction starts and it takes one minute, which is quite a long time. Now the interesting thing about this is that you don't actually need to be anywhere near the car in order for the countdown to go. What you can see up in the top right is that the countdown timer is still going. Now that means we've got 35 seconds, so we can either fight people off or we can hide somewhere and go in a bush or, or whatever and just turn up right at the last minute to the car so that we're less likely to just get killed if somebody runs over and checks it because over at this side there's not really much cover. If you stand in front of the car for one minute this is quite dangerous especially given you're just outside of dorms. So here we go, five seconds left. Let's pop round, stand next to it and out we go. Right, next one, main bridge over Customs River. So this little building here, this is most useful when you're first starting up into a raid. So what you can do is you can pop yourself up onto here, right onto the corner edge, go sideways up, and then you can lay yourself down. Now this is a really good place for sniping people as they come across the, uh, the river over onto the other side. So this is the notoriously bad exit, by the way. Be prepared that this exit won't work. But anyway, at the beginning of a game, you can see people who are running across, and it's very difficult for them to know where you are and to be able to shoot back. Um, sometimes people sit underneath the, the pipes, um, but this really gives you a massive tactical advantage right at the start of the game to be able to catch people out as they come out from the south side of the customs building. Back to Big Red itself, you can take a really nice vantage point in this warehouse that some newer players don't know about. So this rack here of shelving, you can walk up and you can go to the right hand side and you can wander yourself up here. And here you get a good look over this kind of gully that sits between the trailer park and between Big Red. And you can catch people out. The other place I like to catch people out is around in the trailer park area. Now this is quite hemmed in and is very restrictive on your movement. But if you wander up one of these sections, you can pop up onto the roofs. And this can cause complete havoc for people who don't realise where you are. I mean it's very, very loud. It's the only thing that I would, I would take note of because it's very, very loud. But you can see all kinds of things that people may not expect you to be able to see, especially if they are not advanced players. And you can run across these sections, you can jump over to the other side, and you can really get around the entire thing just by jumping from crate to crate and from piece to piece. Incidentally, from this area you can actually see interchange. Random point, but I like it. Last but not least, have you ever felt really exposed when you're trying to extract down at Trailer Park and you have to go down this death alley here? Well, let's just not do that. Let's just not do that at all. Instead, what you can do is you can run along this section here, jump over the wall, pop round and down across this side, hook the fence all the way along, round this section, out past the pylon, and through this final piece into the tree line and out to the extract. Now didn't that feel a lot safer? Sure did to me. So I hope you've learned something today and if you found it useful or interesting then please do remember to sub and hit the bell if you want to see more and it really helps out the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch to catch me when I'm live. Until then, I'll see you next time and as always, have fun in your raids.